What does it mean for a function to be continuous at a certain point? And if we're given a specific point, how can we determine whether or not the function is continuous there? In this video, we'll be using this graphed piecewise function to answer those questions. There is a checklist of three things that we need to look at in order to determine if a function is continuous at x equals c. So a function f of x is continuous at x equals c if and only if the limit exists at x equals c, the function is defined at x equals c, and the limit and the function value equal each other. Here's how we can write that out in, using calculus notation. So the first thing that we need to look at is does the limit exist? Recall that this is an overall limit, and so you need to check the limit as x approaches c from the left and the limit as x approaches c from the right. Make sure that they equal each other, therefore the overall limit would exist and equal that value. F of c is simply, this is the y value when x equals c. So that exact value, is it defined? And last, does the limit and the exact value, are they the same? If all three of these are check, then the function is continuous at that specific x value, c. Is our function continuous at these three x values? Let's take a look at x equals negative four. Here it is. We can clearly see that the function is not continuous, right? I mean, we have to literally pick up our pencil here and there's a huge jump at negative four. So even if you haven't learned any of this yet or don't know anything about calculus, you could see that something's going on at the graph here. But let's explain using calculus why the function is discontinuous at negative four. Well, going through our checklist, the first thing we need to do is look at the limit as x approaches negative four. So this is our first step. We need to take a look at the limit as x approaches negative four. It needs to exist. Well, in order to see if the limit exists, we have to check the limit from the left. The limit from the left is three. Then we check the limit from the right. The limit from the right is negative two. So both one-sided limits exist, but they're not the same. Therefore, the overall limit does not exist. And that allows us to say that f of x is not continuous or discontinuous at negative 4. Next, we'll take a look at when x equals negative 1. If we look at this part on our graph, here's that coordinate point. Um, we can see that this is a smooth run through there. We don't have any holes gaps, breaks, jumps, asymptotes, anything like that here at negative one. It turns out that we are continuous at x equals negative one. Let's prove why using our checklist. The first thing that we need to do is look at the limit as x approaches negative one of our function. And recall that means we look at the left limit, the right limit, make sure they're the same. So the limit as we're approaching negative one from the left is four. The limit as we're approaching negative one from the right is four. Therefore, the overall limit exists. So I'm just gonna write exists here. I'm not gonna say, I guess we could say it's, it equals four, that's fine. All right, and it exists obviously since it equals four. All right, the next step that we need to look at is the function. Is it defined when x is negative one? So is f of negative one defined? What is the y value when x is negative one? Boom, it's four. There's the coordinate point negative one, four. So this is defined. I'm using these terms here in parentheses just to show you kind of some how we talk about things. So limit, you wouldn't say a limit's defined per se. You would say that a limit exists or doesn't exist. Whereas a function value, you would either say is defined or undefined. All right, our last step is making sure these two things equal each other. They do, I'll write this out nice and mathy for us. The limit as x approaches negative one of our function equals f equals, f of negative one rather. And I wanna write this out using two equal signs. We can put that they both equal four. A lot of times you'll see this written with the, like the numerical value in between when you have sort of a run on math sentence, if you will, with multiple equal signs. So these are two um, proper ways to show that the limit and the function value are equivalent and then also what they equal. So you can write either one of these. Let's come to our conclusion after we've gone through our checklist. And here's our conclusion written down here. 
Lastly, let's take a look at when x equals 4, right here. So when x equals 4, our first, we want to see if we're continuous there. Our first step, once again, of our continuity at a point checklist is we check the limit. What is the limit as x approaches 4? So we want to look at our left and right limits to determine this overall limit. Our left limit as we approach 4 is 2, and our right limit as we approach 4 from the right is 2. Therefore, the limit exists and equals 2. Second, we want to check and see if our function is defined at that point. So what is f of 4? Well, at 4 exactly, there's actually no y value found at all. And so this is undefined. And therefore, since this is undefined, it fails our continuity at a point checklist. Therefore, we come to the conclusion that our function f of x is actually discontinuous. I'll write that in an alternative way. Um, you can write that as d slash c if you'd like, or you can write not continuous at x equals 4. Now, one last thing here. Let's just say I'm going to change this problem up just real quickly here. All right, do you see the one change I made to the problem? Here's what I did, I put a point here. So I did make f of four defined. So I am gonna go through my continuity checklist um, just one last time, just with this new sort of addition to the problem and just show that we're still discontinuous at four, but for a different reason. So I don't need to go through from the start, I, already, I didn't change that part, the limit's two, but what is f of four? f of four here is now the y value of that coordinate point, it's five. So both of 1 and 2 were good. However, the third uh, step on our continuity at a point checklist is that the limit and the y value, the function value, are the same. And in this case, we see that this one is 4 and, or sorry, 2 rather, and this one is 5. And they are not the same. So we come to the conclusion that no, f of x is not continuous, it's discontinuous at x equals 4. Be sure that you have the continuity at a point checklist written in your notes.